students this is continuation of my lecture on center of mass this is the second part i hope you have seen the first part okay based on the formulas and concepts we discussed in the first part i am going to give you some problems and also i will go ahead with some more formulas okay now you look at this problem there is a square a b c d of side a i am giving you 16 identical parts that means all of them will have equal mass you have to place the balls at the corners of the squares maybe 3 here 5 here like that totally 16 now the condition is i want the center of mass at a by 2 comma 3a by 4 that is where is the center of mass now you pause this video for a moment you solve yourself and then you play the video and see how i solve this problem and check whether your answer is right okay see this see here this is a by 2 x coordinate that means this is a by 2 this is a by 2 So out of the total 16 balls, eight balls should be on this side, either A or at B. Eight balls should be there on this side, and B plus C, eight balls should be on the other side. Total is 16. That is how you will get A by. Then see the y coordinate. This is 3A by 4. That means what? This distance is three times, and this distance is one. One is to three. This is A by 4. Okay, you understand? A by four. This is three A by four. Total is A. So this is one is to three. When the distance is one is to three, the mass should be three is to one. Three is to one. Therefore, here you will have three. If if the mass in A is x, here it should be three x. The distance ratio is inversely proportional to mass ratio. Okay. Now totally you have got eight, and here if you put one, here it will be three. If you total becomes four. If you put two, here it will it will be six. The total becomes eight. That is a correct answer. Okay. So what actually you should do? Here two balls. Here six balls. Here two balls. Here six balls. That's all. Now the center of mass will come at this particular point, a by two comma three a by four. Shall we verify? Yes. Look at this. Two balls. That means maybe I'll take it as two kg. Here two kg. Here six kg. Here six kg. Okay. Coordinates zero comma zero. Here this is a comma zero. Here the coordinates a comma a. Here the coordinates. Zero comma y. Okay, find out what is x c m. X coordinate of the center of mass will be two into zero. Y one x one. Y two x two. That is two into y. Y three x three. That is six y. Y four x four. That is six into zero. Total divided by the total mass. That is sixteen. Okay, so now this is a a by sixteen. You get a by. U. Similarly, you can find the y coordinate yourself. Or else, if you want, I'll do it. Y coordinate will be y one y one. Y coordinate is zero. Here y coordinate is zero. Here y coordinate is a. So mass is six six a. Here y coordinate is a. Mass is six six a. Total divided by Uh, 16 balls. So this is 12 a by 16. That will be 3 a by 4. You get it? Okay. Now I am going to give you one more problem, and that you try to solve. Supposing if I have 12 identical balls, if I have 12 identical balls, I place. One here, two here, three here, 
and six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that will be the center of mass. You calculate and let me know the answer. So here one, that is two. Here three, that is six. Therefore, that side is two. Here one, this is three. This is two. This is six. So the side is two. So somewhere here. So take it as one kg, two kg, six kg, three kg. Then zero zero, a comma zero, a comma a, zero comma a. Solve it and find the answer. Okay, see my solution. Here, this is the side is four, the side is eight. So, this is one is to two. That distance should be two is to one. Therefore, I will say this is two is to one. Therefore, this is a by three. This is two a by three. Therefore, x coordinate should be two a by three. Ongal ke line se bhatil ka. If I point it for now, is a three, is a nine. अब थ्री नाइन अभी ना वन इस तू थ्री अब डिस्टेंस अपेर करो ये तो वन इस तू थ्री ना ये तो तू थ्री इस तू वन ये पढ़ेर करो इन द डिस्टेंस जासे आर करो द डिस्टेंस कमी आर करो सो ये तो थ्री टाइम्स इस करो थ्री ए बाई फोर ये तो ए बाई फोर दैट फॉर और जिन इंगेर के अदनाल � चलिया ए बी सी इज अ राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल हियर राइट एंड 15 मीटर्स हियर राइट एंड 8 मीटर्स एंड यू नो दिस इज 17 मीटर्स नाउ आई प्लेस 1 किलो हियर आई प्लेस 2 किलो हियर आई प्लेस 3 किलो हियर कैन यू फाइंड द सेंटर ऑफ मास ओके पास द वीडियो डू इट योरसेल्फ Watch my solution now. इधर बंदे और जिन्हें आर्डर करें, अपन ये तो बंदे जीवित कर पाओ, अपन फिट कमा जीरो, ये ना इधर हरिजोंडल, इधर ना इधर बंदे राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल, अपन 90 डिग्रीज, अपन इधर वही एक्सिस, वही एक्सिस लाइ एक मीटर्स को राइट, अपन जीरो कमा ये, शेरी ओके, एक्स कोऑर्डिनेट करना है, you have to by while practicing you have to keep on writing the formula again and again and again so that it registers in your mind parichay the formula la edala nya mera irukada ana practice pannum bodhu endi 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 nariya practice pannum so x m anna m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3 so this is the formula write it 10 times okay appa paare इंगे मास वन इनटू जीरो इज जीरो, इंगे टू इनटू फुटी इंगे दस थर्टी, इंगे थ्री इनटू जीरो दस जीरो डिवाइडेड बाय मास एवर ओवर दे वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री सिक्स अब आंसर है ना फाइव मीटर्स वही कल पड़े वही कल पड़े चल बिंग है नेरा सर वही कितना पड़े बिंग है मारो वन इनटू जीरो टू � अब सेंटर ऑफ मास इंगेर के अभी ना इन दम कलर के व्हिच इज फाइव कमा फोर दैट इज वेयर इज अ सेंटर ऑफ मास उन लोग आंसर कर रहे हों चाह ओके ये बात विषय तीन नंबर पर ओके ये पाना मतलब जिक्र में ये द सेंटर ऑफ मास उड़े ये और क्या माना प्रॉपर्टी बंदे the center of mass definitely lies on the axis of symmetry of the object. Okay, if you want to a ring, a ring, this axis of symmetry, that is the x axis of symmetry, this axis of symmetry, this axis of symmetry, this axis of the axis of symmetry, center of mass is the axis of symmetry, you also get the y axis as the axis of symmetry. Ilaya, y axis also divides this ring into two equal halves. 
Therefore, center of mass is the point of intersection. So, center of mass will be at the center. That is very simple. You can calculate the center of mass and the length. If you want to do a circular disk, okay, or one rupee coin, it will be a symmetry about x axis, symmetry about y axis. So, more than one axis on a plane lamina, immediately you will say the point of intersection is the for a position where the center of mass will lie. So, it is one three dimensional object, it is a sphere. So, axis of symmetry, x axis or axis of symmetry, y axis or axis of symmetry, right? In the, in the horizontal plane, the cut in the plane, the cut point Okay, upper and z axis is also axis of symmetry. Center of mass will be at the center of the sphere. Uniform rod at the top. Okay. This is a uniform rod. Apa is the other one symmetrical at the Abina is symmetrical about this y axis. It is from a thin da is symmetrical about this. Apa is the center of mass. So and the mother in a solar. Say up from or a square lamina or a metal plate. It is in the form of a square. Up in your axis of symmetry, your axis of symmetry is the center of mass. Or a rectangle, okay, your axis of symmetry, your axis of symmetry is the center of mass. At the or cube, okay, this is a cube. Up a center of mass, I get one point of intersection of the diagonals, and then a center of mass, it is at the center. Another one is a cuboid, or a single. Center of mass angle is point of intersection of the diagonals, that is the center of mass. So, it is symmetrical. Symmetrical objects. Like, what is it there? Where is the center of mass? It is the axis of the cylinder. It is the cylinder. It is the cylinder. It is the center of mass. Okay. So, in the Madriana, regular shapes, plane, two dimension or three dimension, you can. Find the center of mass without doing any calculation. 